एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आरोग्य फिजियो टिप्स आरोग्य फिजियो टिप्स में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आई एम डॉक्टर दिलप्रीत एंड टुडे आई बी टेलिंग यू ऑल अबाउट अ कंडीशन नोन एज रेक्टोसील दैट इज सीन इन वेमेन सो यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पेल्विक फ्लोर ऑर्गन्स इन योर पेल्विक रीजन विच आर वेरी वाइटल दिस इंक्लूड्स योर यूरिनरी ब्लैडर योर यूट्रस योर वजाइना एंड योर रेक्टम सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर हेल्ड इन दैट पोजिशन बाई ग्रुप ऑफ मसल्स एंड लिगमेंट्स विच इज कॉल्ड द पेल्विक फ्लोर एज अ होल so if your pelvic floor gets weak due to a variety of causes there are chances that these organs get displaced or they can bulge into each other so for today's condition which is rectocele that is exactly what happens so you have the vagina in the front and the rectum at the back so the back wall of the vagina and the front of the rectum have have a variety of tissues between them so in certain conditions these tissues can become very weak if your pelvic floor is weak these tissues also become weak because of that a part of the rectum can bulge into the vagina in severe cases it can even bulge out and poke out of the vagina like a small sac that is a very severe case and might sometimes require surgical intervention but today i'll be showing you a few exercises you can do in order to decrease the severity and frequency of the symptoms rectocele can be caused because of a variety of causes but the most common one is pregnancy and childbirth So in pregnancy, as the size of your stomach increases, there is a stretch in your abdominal muscles as well as a stretch in your pelvic floor muscles. In women who become physically active after pregnancy, there are chances that pelvic floor muscle will get strengthened on its own. But if you don't, the pelvic floor muscles rem remain stretched, loose, and weak. So there are chances that they develop rectocele. The chances further increase if you have had a twin delivery or multiple births or a prolonged labor or a very heavy child. The second cause could be obesity. Uh, again, because of increased abdominal fat, it puts a lot of strain on your pelvic floor, which can weaken it. The third cause is general aging. So, with age, we all know that the muscle mass decreases, especially after menopause in women, because of hormonal changes, the pelvic floor muscles become very lax, and there are increased chances of developing rectocele. The next cause is chronic cough as well as chronic constipation. so your diaphragm your abdominal muscles and pelvic floor are all connected in a chain so in case you have a chronic cough you put a lot of stress on your diaphragm and also increases the intra abdominal pressure this pushes down on your pelvic floor repeatedly and can lead to development of a rectocele in the same way chronic constipation when you apply too much pressure to pass motion that weakens your pelvic floor and can lead to development of a rectocele coming to the symptoms of rectocele the most common symptom is you will always have a feeling of heaviness fullness in your vaginal or rectal region like there is something irritating you and there is something uncomfortable happening there uh, the second symptom in severe cases could be a bulge so a soft bulge of tissue may come down from your vagina it could be very small or it could be a larger tissue uh, the third one is you will get multiple uh, you get sensation multiple times in the day to go to the washroom and pass stool also after you have passed stool you might have a feeling that you have not completely emptied your bowel uh, you might also have a feeling of pressing on the tissue that is protruding out of your vagina press it with your fingers and you will feel like when you do that it is easier to pass stool the next symptom could be a uh, uh, chronic back pain or like tingling sensation in your back a stabbing sensation in your back and uh, the other symptom could be a uh, painful sexual intercourse the general advice for anyone who has a rectocele is that you have to prevent constipation at all costs if you get constipation that further increases the intra abdominal pressure which further will worsen the symptoms of rectocele so you can prevent constipation one by hydrating so good amount of water intake in the day second increase the fiber in your diet the more the fiber it is easier to pass the stool third is instead of having one single heavy meal have multiple small meals throughout the day and the next one is to avoid foods which are high in uh, refined carbohydrates or even dairy products because they can induce constipation you need to avoid all kinds of high impact activities like running jumping jogging or skipping uh, avoid all exercises which suddenly increase the intra abdominal pressure like sit ups and crunches Of course avoid heavy lifting by bending on the back even if you're lifting something go into a squat or a lunge position and then lift it and the very last thing you have to be careful about is uh, doing kegels so whenever you're getting a cough or whenever you feel like you're going to sneeze right then do a kegel which will prevent the rectocele from getting worse so for the first exercise you need uh, something called
body yoga block this will help you in supporting your rectum and vaginal when you do the exercises so for the first one it's very simple you will just sit cross leg on the yoga block and do some lateral stretching so just lift one hand up and stretch 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 so i'm not stretching my lower body okay i'm just stretching my upper body and i'm back down okay and on the other side you breathe out when you stretch and you breathe in when you come down breathe out when you stretch and breathe in when you come down so the next exercise it's called lateral dipping so you're sitting on the yoga block cross legged uh you don't have to slouch neither do you have to overarch your back you are sitting in a neutral spine position you keep your hands on the sides of your rib cage and you take a deep breath in when you take a deep breath in you have to try and expand the lower part of your chest so you will feel your arms come out and then breathe out through your mouth again breathe in so concentrate on expanding your abdomen and lower chest rather than your upper chest the next exercise you keep the yoga block under your sacrum so not under your lower back just under your buttocks under your sacrum okay hands by the side you take a deep breath in again fill air in your lateral ribs and your stomach and not in your upper chest do take a deep breath in and during breathe out breathe out through your mouth and try and do a kegel so how you do a kegel is the muscles that you use when you urinate if you want to try and stop your urine midstream you contract a certain group of muscles that exact that's exactly what you have to do so there will be no outer contraction seen it will just be inside in your pelvic floor muscles so breathe in through your nose and then when you breathe out through your mouth you will try and do a slow kegel so for the next one again the yoga block remains where it is or uh, you will go into a bridge so with your hands by the side put the weight on your feet and lift your hip up okay once you are in the bridging position you will do the same exercise we did previously so you will breathe in through your nose fill air in your stomach and your lower ribs and while you breathe out you're still maintaining the bridge but again try to do a kegel so breathe in slowly contract your pelvic floor after doing around 5 you can again rest on the yoga block and then up again and finish 5 For the next one again this is the modification of the bridging that we did before you are doing the same thing when you go up into a bridge you breathe in and when you come down breathe out when you go up breathe in when you come down breathe out try not to completely rest your sacrum on the yoga block try to do pulsing just up and down up and down just touch and go up again so breathe in and then breathe out so the next exercise you'll be doing something called the butterfly pose so again keep your core tight don't overarch your back and i don't want you to flatten it also just keep a neutral spine activate your core keep your feet together okay and open your knees up as much as possible while still keeping your core and pelvic floor tight breathe in when you do this and then breathe out when you close your knees so breathe in when you open and breathe out when you close if this feels a little easy you can also add a kegel to it when you're breathing out so breathe in and breathe out and do a kegel uh you can also do a butterfly stretch where you just maintain your legs in this position for 30 seconds or you continuously keep breathing in and breathing out but make sure your core is tight so the next exercise again the yoga block and then you're sitting here you will pull your knees close to your chest at around this angle what you have to do next is just straighten your knee one leg at a time you can either hold your thighs here or keep your hands down so what you have to do is straighten your knee and then bring it back down then straighten the other and bring it back down the breathing is you will exhale when you straighten your knee inhale you come down exhale inhale try to do 10 on both sides so the next exercise this is just a relaxation for your pelvic floor muscles again you will pull your knees towards your chest hold on to your thighs 
and you can just hold this position for around 30 seconds if this feels okay then you can just pivot to the left and the right again just make sure your sacrum is still on the yoga block just left and right around 10 times to the left and 10 times to the right so just help in relaxing your body next exercise is a simple straight leg raise again you will not push your back into the mat or you will not overarch you will just try to keep your neutral spine if you can keep both your legs straight and then just lift one leg up and down if this feels like it is putting too much strain on your back you can keep one knee bent and do the same exercise with your other leg okay so the breathing pattern goes you exhale when you lift up you inhale when you go down just exhale pull up through the core and then inhale again do 10 on the right and 10 on the left for the next exercise keep your elbow under your shoulder level your hand on your hip the lower leg is bent at the knee and the leg on top is absolutely straight your shoulder your hip and your ankle should be in one straight line what you have to do is just move your hip front and back without tilting your pelvis so my pelvis remains stable i'm just moving my leg front and back as much as possible the breathing pattern is inhale when you take it back exhale when you bring it forward Inhale when you take it back. Exhale, pull from your core and bring it forward. Again, 10 times on the right. When you turn around, you'll do it 10 times on the left. The exercise is the normal cat and camel that you do. But the only difference is now you will use a yoga block. So you'll put the yoga block between your knees. You will go into the crawling position and start with camel. When you are doing camel and you are humping your back, you are also pressing the yoga block between your knees and you are breathing out. And then relax, leave the yoga block and come into cat. Again, press the yoga block and come into camel and breathe out. Then leave the yoga block loose, breathe in and come into cat. The next exercise is again in the crawling position. The same thing, you put the yoga block between your knees. Go on all fours. Now again you will press the yoga block between your knees. When you press, you are exhaling and moving your hand to the side. Reach out, leave the yoga block, inhale, bring it back. Again, squeeze the yoga block, exhale, hand on side, leave the yoga block, inhale, bring hand in. So when you're exhaling, you're pressing the yoga block and reaching out. When you're inhaling, leaving the yoga block and reaching out. Uh, please try to do all these exercises twice a day. Uh, do it for at least two to three months to start feeling some changes. Uh, whatever progress you make, please tell us in the comments below. If there are any other doubts you have about this condition, please ask us below. If there are any, are there any other topics you want us to cover, please tell us in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to our channel and witness your fitness.